Hey there friends and fellow crafters, it's Leanne and I'm here today with a project for Imagine. So I've got my Misty here and I am going to use this beautiful stamp called Shamrocks from Prickly Pear. So let me put my paper in here. I put some uh, sticky tape on there for where I wanted my paper to be. And I put my stamp down. This is a cling stamp, so I was able to um, take the mouse pad out of the Misty. So there we go. I'm going to use some Versamark ink. But first, I'm going to use my anti static powder bag to spread all over this. That way, I'm going to be doing some embossing today. And I am using the Versamark ink pad. It is a clear sticky ink and that allows the, it stays wet long enough for the uh, embossing powder to stick so that I can do the heat setting for it. So I'm just making sure this is all inked up properly. And that uh, embossing bag that I used first was uh, so that the embossing powder will only stick where I want it to be. Let me take a look. Oh yeah, that, that actually looks really good. So I'm gonna leave it at this one. One press. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. put my Misty away and I am using emboss in emerald I thought that would be a real pretty color to use for this project And love heat embossing. It's so fun. I like using the embossing folder for dry embossing as well, but this is this is more my speed. So while I clean this up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat tool to warm up. Only takes a couple seconds. If you can see it warm up there, you see the color change? It goes like from a dark to a lighter. Just have to move my finger so I don't burn myself. I'm off the screen, sorry. My plug didn't pull over all the way. This is a Prelude heat tool. It's it's very powerful. It has two heat settings, but I like it because it can stand up on its own. I just didn't have the cord pulled far enough to be able to do it properly. Then I'm going to pull in an acrylic block to stamp my sentiment. For my sentiment, I'm using Versifying Claire in... You know what? No, I'm not. I'm 
rewind change that. I'm using Delicata Golden Glitz. I do apologize if you hear the puppy barking. He, uh, he likes to do that. And my sentiment is also from Prickly Pear. And it is called Luck of the Irish. I am Irish. I'm Irish by birth. And I married into an Irish family. So this is a perfect project since St. Patrick's Day is next month. Now we'll put the card together. Let's see. Did I do this right? Yes, I did. Whew. nothing is ever where I put it the first time. I think I'm running out. This is Tarot Tape. It is a uh, double-sided sticky tape. One of my favorites to use for my projects. This card will be going in the mail, so I'm not using foam on it. For this this time because I feel it's gonna have enough dimension to my tape here. And I just might be using some foam to attach the sentiment because my tape has ended. I don't know that there's enough to finish this. Let's see. go. Might get lucky. Looks like I am. Just pull in some little foam dots. Let's see. Just used a couple glue dots. that up there where my uh, embossing went a little haywire. And then I'm going to pull in the gold irresistible Pico embellisher. And this St. Patrick's Day card project is complete.